Uh, I'm Rick Doblin. I've trained with uh, Stan Groff and also have a PhD from the Kennedy School of Government at Harvard. I started in 1986 a nonprofit called the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies, and I still direct it, president of it. Basically, we're a nonprofit psychedelic and medical marijuana pharmaceutical company trying to develop these drugs into FDA approved prescription medicines. We also have projects all over the world. I just learned today that we got approval from the Ethics Committee in Switzerland for our LSD study with um, people with anxiety facing end of life issues. It'll be the first LSD psychotherapy study in 35 years. Um, last week we got approval from the FDA to make a change in our study with MDMA for cancer patients so that now we can enroll subjects and that study is taking place at Harvard. It's going to be the first psychedelic research at Harvard since 1965, so 42 years. And we're doing a lot with medical marijuana as well, or at least a lot of lawsuits, not a lot of research. And that's, um, we have a lot of public education aspects to what we do. We try to change cultural attitudes. Uh, we got a lobby campaign. We now, for the first time, have a full-time lobbyist in D.C. trying to generate pressure on the DEA to let us start a medical marijuana production facility at UMass Amherst. Yeah, and if you'd like to learn more about this all, go to the MAPS website, www.mapsmaps.org. And we have all sorts of information on there. And if you have any questions, you can write at uh, askmaps at maps.org, and we'd be glad to respond to your questions as well.